Hey, okay, there's a, a no, I always do videos like after shifts, usually. Usually, I don't wanna say always, I usually do. Um, because it's something I learned, something I, you know, I uh, want to pass on to you guys. You know, it's stuff that you eventually learn, but why not learn it right off the bat for free, you know, right? It's not gonna cost you any time or energy. You know, um, you know my 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 trials and tribulations, you know, you know, convert to your your knowledge. So maybe it won't take you like two years, like it's taken me. You know, maybe you can speed that up. Although they're kind of cramming it into my head, I don't even think I'm gonna make the two years without them. They're already forcing crap on me that I'm like, hey, you're supposed to wait two years. That's kind of the code. That's the kind of thing. But yeah, like yesterday. You know, I despite my I was kicking and hollering, and I put it in writing that I don't want to be charged. I dislike being charged. I don't want to be charged. I don't think it's safe to be charged. Let me just put, put that out there. You know, you know, my technical skills are still lacking, in my opinion. You know, and that's not false modesty or anything. There's there's some stuff that you know. That are still lacking. I know that's still lacking. I, I see some of my peers are a lot uh, more comfortable at, and you know, when they call codes and whatever. And I had to call code as 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 the charge. Uh, I had a, had a new nurse, and she was bringing stuff to me. And I said, "No, you got to call that code. You got to call the RT. I mean, it's her patient, and she asked me to look in on on her patient." I suspected it was a psych issue. It turned out to be a psych issue, but and, well, it was the, the resident called it a psych RRT. So, um, but it's bad. It's bad because we have to respond as an RRT, and, and patient is making it believe like that. And we're, you know, like like the resident was saying, it's like I just unnecessarily pumped her full of contrast. And you do CTs and all that real quick. It wasn't. Our choice to do that, we have to follow protocol, and that's what you know she presents at. That's what you got to do. You save her life. You got to save uh, the, the patient's life, his his or her life. You know, um, it's just you know, you know, not in hindsight. It wasn't even hindsight. It's just like his his professional opinion. He's like, oh, that wasn't a physiological because the test proved it out to be that way. That it wasn't. But we don't know. The patient is pretending. It's a psych RRT, not a true RRT, not true code. But it is what it is. You respond as such. And that's actually, it was a hesitation on my part. And I told the resident, I was like, you know, I, I kind of hesitated for about a minute, a full minute. I told him I went back and forth, literally went to the room, did my assessment. I was like, eh, went back. And it wasn't until the nurse made a comment of, well, the patient was 100% and, and he went and, and was doing this. And then, you know, she, she was fine. You know, now she's like this, you know, they're, they're presenting completely different. I'm like, shit, you know, all my assessments tell me nothing's going on, but I said, okay, we got to call that because, you know, really what I, what I felt. And I said this later on to the hospitals, I said, I felt like just like jabbing because you can actually you take a sharp object and you test their thing i felt like jabbing the arm and seeing just you know how how much pain tolerance she could take you know whether or not the patient he would he would withdraw away you know uh <laughs> they, they kind of laughed in that sense i don't even know how to post this but you know it's part of their safety too i do that you, that is part of your assessment you get a sharp object you, you yeah the patient's got to tell you they can feel it and she felt it, and, and I thought she was not being truthful, but I couldn't prove it, you know. Um, that was my quick assessment. And, you know, you know, and, and the RTT, you know, stood by me, too. They were like, no, my, my, my managers and, and, the, and the, the, the night managers were like, no, no, you did the right call. That was what it is. But, you know, now, you know, we all are in agreement, professional, all of us. There's like 12 of us there. But, you know, that really wasn't 
but when you got into like what we would have called it to, it's just what you got to do. I said, like, yeah, I'm sorry. They're like, no, you have to. It's, it's not. And it's, that's the lesson here. And that's why I'm telling you trials and tribulations. You know, some people might not have called it, but what if they were wrong? And that's the issue. And that's and the night educator was a, a, a not a friend of mine, but I've, I've got I've got to know her. Um, she was like, no, 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 you have to because that's what happens. You know, and her 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 comment was like, yeah, people have psych problems. You got a lot of psych patients. Don't they get strokes? Don't they get heart attacks too? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. That's why you know I called it. She's like, and you're absolutely 100 percent right to call it. And that's what you guys have to do. Sometimes your gut tells you no, and all your your assessments say no. And you still have to call it. You know, you'll get that learning level and you'll get that comfort level. And I I like I said I, and and, and the nurse the new nurse she's not really a new nurse she's a traveler. But new to our unit, and you know, and, and she was like, "Yeah, I, I was a hundred percent on the RT side, and then you came in, you're like, eh, that was quote." She was like, "You were like, eh," and and the resident came in, and they were like, even more, eh. <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, I didn't think that the CCRN was like, yeah, we were all in the end, but you know, in the end, we had to call it." They're like, "You know, you gotta call it," and that's why uh, the 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 lesson is. There is a lot of times that's going to happen, you know, and always best to err on the side of caution and call the RT, call the the code, um, because better that we waste resources than we waste a life. Okay, so better that you got everybody all worked up, you had to do all that, but what's your explanation? It presented like this. What are you going to do? Absolutely, hundred ten percent. They, you know, stood by my decision and the nurse's decision, and they said, "Nope, you got to do that." So there's no ramifications. But God forbid, we didn't call it, and it was. And then what happens? You know, besides our licenses being, you know, besides the fact that we're liable, besides the fact that whatever the patient had harm, could be death harm. You know, so you have to. You have to err on the side caution, all right? So that's my little lesson for you guys. Okay, good luck.